Food. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I guess I'm reviewing Venom now. <laughs> hey there, lads and lasses, it's Jim Bob here. So, Venom is um, the first, what's going to be the first of uh, Sony's Marvel Universe, uh, uh, um, their, their very own universe within Sony. So, the characters that they own, which is mainly Spider Man characters. Well, sp whether Spider Man will actually make an appearance or after this movie and uh, the way it's been received afterwards, we'll even get a sequel, I don't even know. But, first off, I don't think this is anywhere near as bad as some of the stuff I've read and watched. Because I was watching um, so many different, 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 different reviews of it. I watched uh, uh, Jer Jeremy Johns and I watched uh, Stuckman's review, and they both said really negative things. Like, yes, I do have negative things to say myself, but I don't think this was anywhere near a complete train wreck like people say. I think it's a little bit underrated. But then again, I say that now, but I kind of got a certain vibe. Uh, this morning that um, it's going to turn out a bit like Justice League and I'll explain not that they're remotely alike at all but Justice League got worse every single time I saw it I, I liked it less and less and less on every single watch I have a feeling that this this movie might do the same but as for now on my first watch I enjoyed it so I'm going to review it now definitely the best aspect of this film has to be the relationship between Venom and Eddie Brock the way they communicate the Venom's in his head and I can't believe how funny the film was. Now, disappointingly, they didn't go with the R rating, but I still thought it was pretty gruesome in parts. Like, yeah, I would have liked to have seen a bit more violence, and I'm not saying that uh, Venom biting people's heads off is going to make the film better, but it could have helped. But the relationship between those two in particular, I thought was the best aspect of it. I thought they both did really well. The, the voice of Venom, whoever that was, and Tom Hardy as Eddie Brock. Now, Tom Hardy, he's good. I like Tom Hardy. I've always liked Tom Hardy. and uh, But I wasn't really sure what to think of him as a, a reporter, because he's usually the badass, and in this film, he can't really fight unless Venom's helping him. So it's one of those things. I was like, I didn't know what to expect, but yeah, I thought he was pretty good. And <laughs> there are some moments of comedy in this film. Sometimes it landed like pretty well, and other times it just didn't. It depends what it was. Now, uh... First off, before I get into the comedy, the uh, the film, one of the problems with the film is that it has a major uh, issue of um, shifting between tones. For example, uh, it starts off with the, like, like the first 10 minutes or so, and you think you're in some kind of sci-fi horror. Like, uh, it's just scary looking. And then suddenly, bang, it cuts to Eddie Brock and the Eddie Brock show. Like, really positive looking, uh, just ordinary light-hearted superhero film and then it shifts between something dark again and then it goes to comedic then dark gruesome it just keeps shifting throughout the entire thing and uh, it's a bit distracting at times but the comedy didn't always land I'll get into the comedy now I'll get into the comedy now I'm not really sure what Venom's supposed to be like particularly as a, a villain I've never read the comics and the only other version of Venom I have seen on TV other than uh, what I've seen on video games has got to be, um, unfortunately, tough for Grace. My spider sense is tingling, if you know what I'm talking about. No! That was just wrong. This version is so much better. Now, whether this is supposed to be Venom or not, I don't know whether Venom's supposed to be an anti-hero or whether he's supposed to be a villain. I always thought that Eddie Brock was the one um, who uh, sort of let Venom completely take over him and become evil. But in this one, Eddie, Eddie Brock seems to be the one that's like, no, you can't just go around eating people. And Venom's like, why not? So, it's just stuff like that. Particularly, one of the funniest scenes to me has to be when uh, Venom sort of goes, food, and then Eddie Brock sort of screams this really high-pitched wail. <laughs> that's not a spoiler, by the way. It's just, one of, it's just one of the funny bits. Now, other than the shift, uh, the, now the, uh, the tone shift changing and um, some of the comedy not landing, uh, I'm going to get into other characters. First, I'm going to start with Riz Ahmed. He plays, I um, can't remember the, exactly the guy's name. I'm, uh, I know, what was his name? I'll put it down in the description if I remember. Um, he plays the typical rich villain who is doing experiments on stuff and you're just like, uh, bring me my creature back. You're fired. Kill that guy. Don't let him get away. He's just that, he's just that big business guy, the one who's in power. And it's something we've seen hundreds and hundreds of times over and over again. So he was a little bit bland, and it's a bit of a shame because Riz Ahmed is a very talented actor. Like, from when I first saw him in um, 
a TV show called Dead Set, which is basically uh, zombies invading Big Brother. Now, that's the first time I saw him, and I thought he was okay in that. Then he landed roles in, like, Rogue One, and now this. So, um, it was, I, was, I was interested to see uh, like how, how he would fare as a villain, and he, he was just a bit bland to me. Uh, pretty much a lot of a lot of the a lot of the characters are bland, uh, other other than Eddie Brock himself. Like for example, you have uh, you know Michelle Williams. Why is Michelle Williams in this film? She provides no substance or anything to the plot whatsoever. She was just there. Pretty much how Gwen Stacy was in um, the Amazing Spider-Man Two, and the first one exactly. She just was. She's just there. She's there to be the love interest, and. It's a shame as well. Again, Michelle Williams is a very talented actress. I think she's amazing. And her and Riz Ahmed, I thought they were, their characters were just wasted on like a, probably a bad script or not enough stuff to go on. And it was just a shame. But I'll get on to the stuff which I enjoyed in a minute. Just one more thing which is a bit of a negative, and that's the fact that some of the CGI on the symbiote looks so fake. It looked like, um, like it come from a a mid 2000s mid 2000s movie roughly around 2004 like like a uh, fantastic four sort of sort of cgi that's the first one from 2005 that that sort of cgi and uh, sometimes the battle scenes you can't really see what's going on because uh, venom's moving so fast but whenever venom is on screen it's amazing absolutely amazing the only problem with that is it, it seems to take forever and ever and ever for venom to actually show up but when he does, the film really starts to liven up a little bit. And I would have liked to have seen just a little more Venom than we got. But I, I, I was aware with reviews and descriptions that I read before the film came out that Venom is not really in the film. It's more of an Eddie Brock movie. But the movie wouldn't sound cool if it was Eddie Brock, would it? Like, people wouldn't really go and see it, would they? So, other than that, I, I enjoyed the action scenes. The action scenes were quite fun. Like, it's completely insane and over-the-top action. A bit like a Fast and Furious movie, particularly one sequence where Eddie Brock is on a, a motorcycle and he's getting chased by um, Riz Ahmed's men. Th that, that scene in particular was um, just reminded me of Fast and Furious. Some of the stunts and some of the, uh, the things that happened, it was just completely over the top and unrealistic. But it was a fun movie. I actually really enjoyed Venom. Like, I wouldn't say it's brilliant, it's far from brilliant. Definitely far from brilliant, but it's nowhere near as bad as I've heard. But then again, this brings me back to my point at the start of the review, that maybe on my second viewing, I'm going to see it again Sunday, maybe um, I'll change my mind and it'll get a bit worse and worse and worse and worse, a bit like uh, Justice League did. Now, I'm hoping, it, I'm, hoping it doesn't, I'm hoping it doesn't come to that point because this film is very, very enjoyable. So... What did you guys think of Venom? Let me know down below in the comments. Smash that like button. And as always, if you like what you see, like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Food!